feel like you have to do this every once in a while. Good morning, Papa. Are we gonna glow up today? We gonna get pretty, huh? Okay, good morning, y'all. Or should I say afternoon? <laughs> it's now uh, one o'clock. One o'clock. I just woke up an hour ago. I haven't been sleeping lately. Anybody else? Anybody else not sleeping till four o'clock? Because that's been me. Today, we're going to be glowing up. We're going to take this and we are going to do a nice quarantine glow up. Oh, Bubba, did you follow me? Oi. <laughs> Bubba, let's go glow. Okay, so step one in our glow up is we're gonna do our nails, but they're already done. So I used a dip kit. Yeah, it looked good at first. I had to put nail polish on top of the dip. I don't even know if y'all can see that, but it's bad. It's bad because Kat just had to have black and mess them up. Okay, so this was actually my nail kit, by the way. This is actually the dip collection I used. It's called Model Ones. I got this at CVS, this at CVS, the cotton swabs at CVS. I ordered these on Amazon and these are just like the tips that I glue on. I got the glue, where is it? At CVS, I also have ordered some on Amazon before. I got this on Amazon and again, I'll have everything linked down below for you and here is the culprit of how I messed the whole thing up. Plus any nail technician would probably come after me for the job I did. Step two, we are going to go ahead and get into the tub and we're gonna shave so that way that we can do some laser hair removal. Okay, so I just got into a swimsuit. I know nobody wanted to see this. I didn't wanna see this. If anybody in the comments comes for my quarantine weight gain, I will eat you. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed my soap, a loofah, got a new razor blade, so let's get to shaving. I'm crawling around, searching for higher ground. Can't see in front of me, my enemies have tried every possibility. Ability to know if I can bleed. If that's what you want. Okay, so step one, done. Step two, done. Two, 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 done. Step three is going to be at home laser hair removal. So I'm going to be using my Kenzie. I love, love, love this thing. Kenzie is an easy, easy, easy IPL laser hair removal. You're in quarantine. You've got nothing better to do than to be laser hair removaling. So that way when we can actually get out of our houses, you're going to be nice and hairless and summer ready. It is so, so, so easy to use. I have done two videos for them before. I'll pop it here, I will pop it here. And that way you can see who it works best for, how to use it, all of the exciting features and why I love this thing so freaking much. And there is no such thing as a glow up without a little laser hair removal. So let's get to starting. So first things first, we are actually going to be taking this and plugging it into the wall. And then from the other end over here, we are just going to be plugging it into the back right there. There we go. And that's how you're gonna know it's on and trust me, this thing has a, like, I mean, there's still room. It has a lot of space to stretch this baby out. Got the protective eyewear, now it's time to go. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and pop a leg up here and you're gonna press this button in the back and just hold it down really quick. There you go, so it's on. And then you can see right here, it has like a red button and then it's gonna have up to five blue buttons. And then you can just press this in the back. Do. Four. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is just go over and then when you see that blinking red light, it's okay to push. But we're just gonna go up and just basically push, 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 push. You can do up to three passes, but I think right now we're just gonna do one pass at level four. So I just finished laser hair removaling everything that I could. Obviously you have to avoid tattoos and other stuff like that. You also wanna make sure you're just kinda like lightly putting it against your skin. It feels fine. There are five different levels. The higher the level you go, the better it works. But you do have options and it does still work at lower levels. But now that we have finished all that, let's go moisturize. <laughs> So I'm going to be taking my tried and true CeraVe and I'm going to be putting this all over everything. <laughs> I 
day one is done. We are moisturized, we are hairless, we are feeling good. So we're gonna let this moisturize into our skin and then we're gonna be back tomorrow to do some self tanning and really put in the work. The hair, the makeup, the outfit, the everything. We are quarantine glowing up for absolutely nothing. So stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. So today is the day. We are going to be quarantine catfishing, everybody. We are going to get all glam and make it look like we haven't basically been looking like this for the last month. To start off with, I think what we need to do is we need to tan. So today I'm gonna to be using Loving Tan 2 Hour Express, and I also have the bronze shimmer as well. So I guess I gotta get back out of this and into that very cute swimsuit that neither of us enjoy. You know, it's gonna be a rough day when even your sweatpants just do not wanna participate. <laughs> I'm gonna be using a little bit of CeraVe. I'm gonna basically be putting a little bit of this on all of like the hard places or like the dry places that you don't want your tan to really like bunch up. So that's gonna be like the hands, the wrists, the ankles and the knees pretty much. moisturized up i'm going to go ahead and put some tanner on and then i'm going to be by myself and tan all the places that you can't see so for my face basically what you're going to do is you're going to put moisturizer on especially around your eyebrows and around your upper lip and things like that and then you're going to put the tanning on it Okay, so we are all done with the tanner. We look a little crazy right now, but we're gonna wash it off. So I'm gonna set a timer for one hour, and in one hour, we're gonna wash the hands, we're gonna wash the feet, we're gonna wash pretty much the face, anything that we don't want to get like super ridiculous or like get a lot of streaking, those go off in an hour. Everything else will shower off in two hours. In the meantime, we can't do makeup because obviously the foundation and stuff needs to match the color that we come out. So we are going to be doing hair. And not only are we gonna be doing this hair, but we're gonna be adding hair onto it. I'm finally gonna be putting my extensions in for you guys on camera. So yeah, let's go get that done. <laughs> Okay, so I'm already gonna apologize now. This is probably gonna be the worst, laziest hair extension video you've ever seen. Yeah. So I actually have some really nice extensions by Bellamy, but they're still orange because my hair was orange. So we're gonna be using my really old extensions. I got these on Amazon and I can't even tell you like where I got them on Amazon. I just know they came from Amazon and they're not great extensions because you can tell there's like a lot of hair up here and then it gets really thin and at the bottom and they've been like that since I bought them. And obviously I didn't take the best care of them. And we're gonna be basically making it like lazy girl waves. And then these are pretty much gonna kind of match after I brush them out with a little bit of curl at the end. So you're gonna kind of see what I'm talking about, but it's gonna be extremely lazy. <laughs> the best way that I've noticed to blend extensions into your hair, especially, especially if you have short hair, is by putting like a track pretty much like at the bottom. So this will be like the first length of hair you see with your hair on top of it. But also I have some very thick hair, ready? So you can kind of see, <laughs> you can kind of see my hair is thick. It is really ratted right now because of uh, bun life. So let's just go ahead and brush it on out, starting bottom to top. Okay, so, <laughs> so this is like the best I can have it brushed right now. It looks horrible and like no joke i literally just did an entire treatment on my hair not that you can tell but we're gonna be sectioning it off and we're gonna take like a really small section at the bottom and we're gonna clip the extension this time underneath the section like i said so we want it to kind of start off at the lowest of the bottom but kind of hide the clips 
So for the first section, we're gonna be using a either a three or a four clip, and I will tell you in just a minute. Let's go, and because it's gonna be like loose, lazy curls, we can take larger sections. It's not gonna matter as much. Yeah, we're gonna do a three piece. I'm gonna go ahead and put this underneath the hair, but before I do that, we're gonna go ahead and brush it on it out. So always start bottom to the top. And I just kind of laid it as flat as I could right now. So let's go ahead and get another section out, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a whole four piece. This one's a three, so we're gonna move on to a four piece across here. And we're just gonna alternate the curl, so I'm gonna do this one inward and this one outward. So now when I go and clip the extension in, one of the tricks that I've learned, especially with having thick hair, is I never just wanna put like a band in there and then it not reach end to end. The way that it actually looks the most blendable is whenever you put extensions in to take it all the way across the crown of whatever you're doing. Now obviously you wanna leave a little bit of gap so you don't end up seeing the band at the end, but that's the way that I found, especially towards the bottom of your hair, because if you think about it, a lot of people who do layers, it'll be like thinner and shorter at the top, and then at the bottom, at the ends of the hair, it's a lot longer and fuller, so really at the bottom, you need to make sure that you're filling the extension out. Also, like if you have thinner hair, you're probably gonna have to tease it or like use like a little bit of teasing and hairspray before sticking the clip into your hair, but because you all saw how thick and coarse and nasty my hair is, it has no problem sticking in by itself and hanging out all day long, so I get to skip that step. Change of plans, instead of doing a four piece right here, I'm actually gonna take a three piece and a two piece, and I think that'll take it all the way across. Okay, so now that that's in, and I just kind of take the curls that I made and just kind of pull them so they'll be a little bit looser, because obviously I don't want tight curls here and then looser curls here once I curl this. So basically this is what I'm gonna be doing throughout the rest of the hair. If you'll ever want like a full just hair extension tutorial, I can probably do that, especially with some better extensions. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish this on up and I will see you guys when it's done. So my hair is all done. You can see I just kind of barely curled the ends, but like it's a lot thinner than the rest of the hair. And that also is because I have super thick hair. So I have to have anything from like 200 to 300 grams of hair to actually make it look real. Now it's been almost an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a wipe and we're gonna wipe off the tanner from our face, from our hands and from our feet. I think I'm actually probably gonna do my neck as well, just because I put makeup on my neck. So I don't want it getting too tan and then getting streaky when I can just put makeup on it. kind of what we're looking at. Actually, let's get the elbows too. I'm one of those people that are my elbows end up giving away the fake tan. I try to stay out of the sun as much as possible. And I actually recently just got checked for skin cancer, which after this quarantine is all over, I recommend everybody, whoopsies. I recommend everybody go get checked for skin cancer. Okay, cool. So the rest of me is gonna tan for another hour Okay, so it's officially been two hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and get back into the swimsuit, and then we're gonna go ahead and rinse the spray tan on off. Okay, so we are all nicely washed and rinsed and tan or then we started. Maybe not so tan, but I was very white to begin with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I'm not gonna show you every single product I'm gonna be using or every single step that I'm gonna be doing. If you wanna see that, I will link uh, this video right down below so you can go check it out. That is a full makeup look on how I do my makeup. You're crawling around, searching for higher ground. See in front of me, my enemies have tried every possibility Ability to know if I can bleed If that's what you wanted, you won't get it tonight So we got the makeup all done, I'm gonna give it one more setting spray mist Oh, okay, now it is finally time to go find an outfit <laughs> Okay 
I think I found the one. I have been in sweatpants this entire time. Your girl's gained a little bit of weight, but it's fine. So I got something a little bit stretchy, but way cuter than what I have been wearing. Dang, little mom. <laughs> okay, so this is it. We are feeling good. I feel like you have to do this every once in a while. Ooh, your girl gotta go to the grocery store or something now. Yes. <laughs> I will see you later. Bye. Oh,